thank you for being here. My name is Jen and welcome to Lean Bella's Kitchen. So today we are going to make squash and sweet potato patties. It's very simple. We're gonna roast our squash and sweet potato. This is the kabucha squash. This is really great for roasting. All I'm doing here is I'm just adding olive oil, um, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder to boost that flavor. And we're gonna both roast them, the sweet potato and the squash. And then we are gonna form them into patties. I'm adding a little bit of panko breading. If you want it gluten-free, then you can use a gluten-free breadcrumbs, okay? And then all our spices here, a little bit of cumin, um, ground coriander, and then also parsley flakes, and my most favorite is smoked paprika. And then we're gonna fry the patties. And we're gonna have a really nice dinner. And also, I'm going to make some dip for the patties and you can also use it for your cut out veggies it's similar to ranch dressing but i'm adding greek yogurt and a little bit of mayo and then you know garlic powder onion powder and dill flakes so i don't have fresh deals you can use fresh deals that's probably even better but i have dried deals that i'm going to add for this dip so let's go ahead and roast the squash and the sweet potato first. Make sure that you're preheating your oven to 450 degrees. Line a baking sheet pan with parchment paper. I always like parchment paper so that it doesn't stick to your pan and it's easier to wash your pan. So let's go ahead and start that first. And then I've already cut up my um, squash, but here, I still need to cut out my sweet potato, so let's go ahead and do that. Peel one large sweet potato, cut it in half, then you're going to cut it in half again, then cut it into big strips, then into chunks. Now you're going to place the sweet potato and the squash into a prepared pan. Drizzle some oil. Add the garlic powder. Salt. And a little bit of red chili pepper flakes. Now toss to coat well. Make sure to spread them out into a single layer for even baking. Now let's make our dip. It's half cup mayonnaise, quarter cup Greek yogurt, garlic powder, onion powder, dried dill, salt, and ground pepper. Mix to combine and set them aside. If you want thinner consistency, add a little bit of water. Now, once the sweet potato and squash are done, transfer them into a bowl. Use a fork or a potato masher to mash them. Now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Red onion, panko breading, one clove of garlic grated, smoked paprika, ground coriander, cumin, parsley flakes, salt, red chili pepper flakes, and one egg. Now mix to combine. Heat a nonstick skillet with oil, use a scoop and scoop them into the hot oil. Use an offset spatula to flatten them and form them into patties. Now, if the spatula is sticking to the patties, spray them with a little bit of oil and then flip them once they turn golden brown and then sprinkle some green onions.
Okay, my lovelies, this squash and sweet potato patties, it's wonderful, it's so delicious. With both together, combine, it's perfect. They taste so good. Now also the seasoning, because there's cumin, there's ground coriander, smoked paprika, so it really lifts up that flavor of squash and sweet potato. And then we made this, um, dip it is so good this is also good for not only the patties but also anything that you want to dip in like your cut up veggies um, some chips even it is so good it's so delicious so my lovelies try this and let me know what you think and if you have family and friends that need help with home cooking please share this video and if you're looking for more recipes just head on to my website and that's leanballaskitchen.com have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye for now